This is a triangular prism and today we are going to cut this in three equal triangular pyramids thereby showing that the volume of a pyramid is 1 by 3 times that of a prism. We will first try to make a triangular prism from a cuboid of foam rubber. This prism is a 3D structure made of two same triangles as the base and three rectangles on the side. So we make any triangle on the base and make the same triangle on the other base and then join the point with a line. Now we will cut along this line to the two corners of the cuboid. Here we get the first cut, so we have the one rectangular side of the prism. Now we will cut along the new edge and the another side of the cuboid to make the second side of rectangular prism. One of the sides of the cuboid makes the third rectangle and so our prism is ready. And now we will cut this prism in three triangular pyramids. First we cut along this edge, so we get this first pyramid and we mark the newly cut triangular as face A. Then we cut along this other edge and this makes the second pyramid and we mark this cut triangular face as B and the third structure left is the third pyramid. Now triangular pyramids are made of four triangular faces, a triangular base and three triangular faces joining this triangular base. Now you can see all these three pyramids have four triangular faces, base triangle and three triangles on the side. And interestingly, all these three pyramids have same volume. Let's see how. Pyramid 1 and 2 have same base, which was the original triangular base of the prism and same height. So pyramid 1 and 2 have same volume. Pyramid 2 and 3 have the same base marked B and same height. So pyramid 2 also has the same volume. So all three pyramids have same volume and we can join them to make a triangular prism. Hence we can prove that the volume of the pyramid is one third the volume of a prism. So we can see that the volume of a prism is base times height and volume of a pyramid must be 1 by 3 base times height since 3 equal pyramids make a prism. A prism of any number of sides can be cut into many triangular prisms and so this holds for a prism of any number of sides. Thank you.